Welcome to Thriver TV, the place to break free from narcissistic abuse with quantum tools and understandings. Narcissists have been likened to terminators, relentless machines that just do not stop delivering the pain, abuse and punishment that they seem hell bent in doing to people. And this can happen with narcissists in the form of criticism and demands, if you're still connected to one. Or this could be their actions as smearing, stalking, abuse by proxy, or co-parenting abuse tactics, or any of the many ways that a narcissist chooses to make your life a living hell. And I also want to explore today how the insidious thoughts and feelings about the narcissist even if one is totally out of your life, can linger on inside you like a festering wound that just doesn't seem to heal. So many people report this, that the narcissist won't leave them alone and getting rid of him or her on so many levels, including evicting them from their heads, seems virtually impossible. And I used to think that that was true myself, but is it true? I'm here to tell you it isn't. Even though you may jump up and down and declare with everything that you have that this is your experience. Yes, I understand that it could be your experience, but it certainly doesn't need to be your truth. And that's even regardless of whether you share children with a narcissist or not. To go beyond the horrible human experience where narcissists just don't let up into one where we take back our power, and they do, I need to take you on a quantum journey with me, getting down to the energetic truth of things and working with the system of life that will release you into your highest and best realities, which is not entanglement with a narcissist. Okay, let me explain. The narcissist in your life is really a no self. This is a person who is a false self and they're not connected to their own energy system or life force at all. This means he or she must gain and regulate their energy via the use of other people. Narcissistic supply is the narcissist's biggest and most necessary addiction. Gaining the energy feed of another individual's attention, good or bad, it makes no difference, so that they can suck that person's life force to survive. Narcissists need to do this because of their disowned true self and therefore having no real ability to feel whole, meaning inwardly full, content and secure. Because of the narcissist's unattended to inner wounds always screaming at the times when there's not enough narcissistic supply to self-medicate them and numb them out, the narcissist must erupt and dump these narcissistic injuries on others mercilessly. If you're being lined up by a narcissist who seems like a terminator in your life, you're not just the narcissist snack handing over narcissistic supply, you're also the punching bag and dump master for their narcissistic injuries. Now here is the grand illusion to all of this, which is the standard human perception. Of course I'm hooked in and fighting to survive this and having to defend myself and trying to stop it happening. What else can I do because of what the narcissist is doing to me? I totally used to operate in this framework too. Why wouldn't we? Isn't that what we were taught? And until we awaken to energetic and spiritual truths, the deeper undercurrent of what is really going on, we will believe this and get all tied up in it. No different to an insect tangling itself deeper into a spider's web, retaliating and fighting back, bringing on its own inevitable demise. There is another way truly, and it has nothing to do with our doing this and everything to do with our beingness. To take our power back, it is about getting out of the greatest human illusion that exists, which there is an outside. At quantum level, there isn't. What is true is there a unit is a universe inside of us relating directly to the universe outside of us. 
Therefore, if we try to respond to the universe outside of us, within the level of consciousness that we've already experienced in reaction to it, then we just keep getting more of the same. Yet if we respond to the universe outside of us by purposefully taking our attention into the universe inside of us and seek to change the consciousness there, regardless of what is going on in the outside universe, then the outside must shift to reflect the inner shift. And you might want to read this back in the show notes, okay, back in the transcript to really get a grasp on this. This is the truth of becoming the change you wish to live and understanding that when you be something, then it will come. That's what become means. It's quantum law. So within, so without. There is no greater power or truth in your life than that. And it especially relates to narcissistic abuse because literally, and I mean in every case, nothing else but your inner shift and changes works to get them permanently out of your life, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and psychically. So what is the consciousness we need to change inside us to make this happen? The consciousness change must be the one where we will no longer have any triggers of fear, pain, angst, anger, and all the other assorted traumas that narcissists know how to activate within us. You may not believe this is possible, yet I promise you it totally is. I achieved this and I can't even begin to tell you how many people in this community have as well. And in fact, I've loved those of you that have let these traumas go and now live without them to share what happened with a narcissist after doing that. So those of you, please pause this video, scroll down and post, encouraging these people who are your tribe, who haven't achieved this yet, that that shift is totally possible. Okay. So the goal is I grant the narcissist no energy, zip, nilch, no interest, not a retaliation, nothing. To achieve this goal, we do this. I just get on with clearing my wounds that get triggered and take pro authentic empowered action regarding being my true self. This means letting go of all fear and instead anchoring into solidness, calm and the displaying of unemotional, honest, authentic facts when necessary. Amongst this is absolutely no need for the narcissist to understand anything or validate you in any way. We're way past that. We can't fake this, pretend this and just grey rock this. I'm not a fan of grey rock if you're still coursing and surging with adrenaline and cortisol on the inside. Empowered real detachment is the only true deal because narcissists sniff out energy even with no contact like a psychic vampire zoning in on energetic fears that can't be seen. Please know just your pain and fear even without any contact at all grants the narcissist the bullets to keep shooting you with. Narcissistic abuse is a psychic phenomenon of personal energy vandalization of the highest order. And your greatest mission is to detox yourself of everything within you that's keeping you hooked up in that. Know this. The narcissist is like a character in a computer game continually needing to reach power packs to keep going in the game. If you cut off all power packs, the narcissist will need to exit your game and jump into somebody else's who will provide them. So how do we do this? In short, stop reacting, detach and have no emotional charge on what the narcissist tries to do and a whole heap of energy becomes available instead for real powerful adult 
calm, solid, authentic action. To help you understand the answer, the real answer, which I'm about to tell you point blank, I want to share my favorite quote of all time. One which I believe relates more than any other I have ever heard to narcissistic abuse. And it's a pretty big claim, but I really believe it does. It's this one by Pima Chodron, and you may have heard me say it a lot. Nothing ever goes away until it has taught us what we need to learn. This is the answer. To get narcissists to leave us alone, go away, we need to clean up the inner wounds that cause the fear, pain and triggers that they set off. And truly, there's no missing these traumas because narcissists just don't give our wounds a little poke. They napalm them, ripping them up into our consciousness with the carnage of a bomb slamming into its target. Things like the terror at being persecuted by authorities, devastation of the possibility of losing our children, feelings that we will die and can't survive because of being abandoned, horror at being discarded and replaced by another, white hot fear at being annihilated, and so many more, the literal primal survival fears that are the fractures of humanity itself. So what are we pushed to do via the relentless Terminator-like ferocity of narcissists not stopping what they're doing? The answer? Heal these traumas within ourselves. And when we do, we discover that we're no longer triggered and handing power away. Then the narcissist ploys fall flat. People stop believing them and authorities discover their lies then support from people and life itself gravitates to us to grant us more of who we're being. Solid, mature, authentic forces of truth from the inside out. I want you to feel this because some part of you cellularly knows what I'm saying is true. If you clean up what the narcissist is detonating inside of you, not only will you escape this person and heal very quickly from the trauma symptoms that now feel like they're eating you alive, you will also clean up these terrible primal human fears for good. And by doing so, you can expand into life in ways that you never did previously before narcissistic abuse. And you will realize what the true purpose to all this was which is what myself and the other thrivers living this life discovered. Okay, so if you have any narcissist in your life that won't leave you alone, no matter what the circumstances, or patterns of pain and abusive people and drama that you've had more than enough of, the shift out of all of this starts here by signing up to my free 16 day deep inner healing course, which includes a healing workshop with the super tool Quantum Freedom Healing, a set of comprehensive eBooks and so much more. And to access these, it's easy. All you need to do is just click the link at the top right of this video. And please know you are under no obligation at all. You can opt out at any time. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you like and subscribe so you get notified as soon as each new one is released. And just before I go, I want to express my gratitude to this incredible community for all the wonderful support that we've had since beginning my new books pre-launch party. Keep going, keep sharing what you've been sharing. It's amazing how we are really raising awareness for narcissistic abuse. And also too, today I'd love you to scroll down and share with me your thoughts on today's episode. So, you know how it goes. We've got nothing else to do other than to keep smiling, healing and thriving. Lots of love. Bye-bye.